My name is Ashley Caballero, and I did homework four on chapter 14, question one. Describe the different vaccine types and the advantages and disadvantages of each. The first type is live attenuated vaccine, which is a live virus vaccine that used the weakened attenuated form of the virus. An advantage would be that it stimulates potent immunological, long-lived memory, and activation of B and T cells against multiple antigens. A couple of disadvantages would be that it pose, poses risks to the immunocompromised individuals and that it must be refrigerated until time of use. Examples of these vaccines are the measles, mumps, and rubella MMR vaccine and the varicella chickenpox vaccine. Inavac another type is inactivated vaccines, which is a killed inactivated vaccine made from a protein or other small pieces taken from a virus or bacteria. A, dis a advantage is that it poses no risk to immunocompromised individuals. A disadvantage is that it clears quickly from the body, so multiple doses are needed for, fuel for full immunity. Examples are whooping cough, pertussis vaccine, and the influenza flu shot vaccine. Additional vaccine types include subunit recomb recombinant, polysaturide, and conjugate vaccines. All of these use specific pieces of the germ, like its protein, sugar, or capsid. Advantage of these vaccines, they give a very strong immune response that's targeted to key parts of the germ, and they can be used on almost everyone, even immunocompromised individuals. Disadvantages, one limitation of these vaccines is that you may need booster shots to get ongoing protection against diseases. Examples would be the HIV, hepatitis B, shingles, whooping cough, and HPV, HPV vaccines. Another type is toxoid vaccines. They contain a toxin or chemical made by the bacteria or virus. Advantages would be create, they create immunity to the parts of the germ that cause the disease instead of the, instead of the germ itself. Disadvantages is that they may need booster shots to keep ongoing protection against diseases. Examples would be diphtheria and tetanus shots. A few references where I got my information from. Medline Plus, that is where it showed me the different types of vaccines, the live, the inactivated, the toxoid, the, and it also told me some safety of the vaccines and even told me the vaccine schedule. Another reference that I used was vaccines.gov and that gave me additional information about the live attenuated vaccine. It told me examples of some live vaccines. For example, yellow fever, chickenpox, smallpox, rotavirus, and the MMR. It gave me additional inactivated vaccine samples like hepatitis A, the flu shot, polio shot, and the rabies. And then some additional vaccines. It told me about the other ones, the subunit, recumbent, and the toxoid vaccine.